Jazz did on that kiss last week, I knew that for this week I would need a bit of a break from terrible romantic comedy, so this week I'm going to be doing a Marvel title. It was requested by YouTube user Romero Movie News. He's got a great channel with great updates on the movie world, so go check him out. Thank you for the suggestion. And so this week I will be taking a look at two short films involving the Hulk. So here we go, Hulk versus. titles, Hulk vs. Thor and Hulk vs. Wolverine. What's interesting is that Hulk is not the principal character in either of these. I was kind of expecting the stories to be about the Hulk with Thor and Wolverine as kind of antagonists in the story, but in vs. Thor the story is very much about Thor and in vs. Wolverine the story is Wolverine's story. In both of these titles, Hulk is not even really the villain, he's just a chaotic entity that the villains use as a weapon. So while I didn't get exactly what I was expecting, what I got was still a very interesting watch. Between the two of them, I think Wolverine is the stronger piece. It's more rounded of a story and held together better. Thor seemed like it was a vague and loosely put together excuse to have Thor fight Hulk, whereas Wolverine was more of an interesting look into Logan's backstory and had a larger and more interesting cast. Deadpool was brilliant in this and possibly my favorite part of the Wolverine segment. But while the Wolverine film ended up being a stronger whole, there are lots of aspects about the Thor film that I enjoyed a lot more. I always enjoy anything to do with Thor and Asgard, and I am a huge Loki fangirl. Loki was really, really great in this. Sinister and villainous, he was a hella fun to watch. Do not try my patience, worm, lest I turn my attentions to thee. Whew, gives me shivers. The entire world of Asgard is fascinating to me, and it is one of my favorite settings for Marvel stories. Bruce Banner's character also shone in this one more so than the Wolverine film. We get to see Banner's strength of will and character and his heart for others, instead of just him being freaked out and terrified. Admittedly, Wolverine isn't really the greatest at calming people down. Thor is a little bit better with people. The artwork is pretty solid, although I'm not sure if I dig it as much as the Earth's Mightiest Hero style. Although it's very similar, it wasn't, I feel, as smooth. But the action scenes are all very fun to watch. I think I prefer the fights between Wolverine and Hulk just because Wolverine gets caught off guard at first, whereas Thor knows what he's getting into going into it. Both are very fun sequences, and while the plot lines are a little bit thinner than other films, the point of these is just to be fun, and for that they've hit the nail right on the head. Who doesn't love a good superheroes fighting it out movie? So there's my take on these films. They don't have much substance, but for what they are, they are well constructed and well executed and a ton of fun to watch. A nice, relaxing alternative to awful shoujo. in general is always a ton of fun. Wolverine is one of my favorite Marvel heroes and Loki is one of my favorite Marvel villains, so I had a blast watching these. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do subscribe to more because next week, I'm really excited about next week. If you want to know what I'll be reviewing, ask yourself one question. What time is it? Adventure time! Add me on Facebook and let me know what titles to add to my list to check out, and I'll see you next week. Bye!